Princess Beatrice was due to marry Eduardo Mapli Monsi on May 29 but it was postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Here, Express.co.uk looks at other weddings that encountered problems in the build-up before turning out fine on the day. Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapli Monsi were due to the tie the knot at Chapel Royal and St James's Palace, London, before the coronavirus outbreak forced them to postpone the occasion. Being a member of the royal family may be a privilege but they are not immune to some of the difficulties weddings can entail. Beatrice and Eduardo, though, can take comfort in the fact that not all previous royal weddings went ahead seamlessly. Prince Henry, Duke of Gloucester, and Alice Douglas Montagu Scotch's wedding 85 years ago turned out differently than they had planned. Beatrice and Eduardo, though, can take comfort in the fact that not all previous royal weddings went ahead seamlessly. Prince Henry, Duke of Gloucester, and Alice Douglas Montagu Scotch's wedding 85 years ago turned out differently than they had planned. Beatrice and Eduardo, though, can take comfort in the fact that not all previous royal weddings went ahead seamlessly. Prince Henry, Duke of Gloucester, and Alice Douglas Montagu Scotch's wedding 85 years ago turned out differently than they had planned. The public, though, still showed plenty of support and turned out in their thousands near the palace to get a glimpse of the newlyweds. Now all the children are married but David, Edward VIII, then Prince of Wales, the king reportedly wrote in his diary that night. George V did not live to see Edward get married in 1937. He wed Wallace Simpson, who was twice divorced, after the crisis of the abdication. The public, though, still showed plenty of support and turned out in their thousands near the palace to get a glimpse of the newlyweds. Now all the children are married but David. Edward VIII, then Prince of Wales, the king reportedly wrote in his diary that night. George V did not live to see Edward get married in 1937. He wed Wallace Simpson, who was twice divorced, after the crisis of the abdication. Elizabeth later noted that she did not feel very nervous on the wedding day and they remained devoted to each other until the king's death in 1952. Their daughter Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip first met at her uncle Prince Michael's wedding in 1934. On the morning of their wedding in November 1947, there were a few issues for Princess Elizabeth to deal with. Bouquets reportedly went missing and tiers were found broken, while her fiancé is said to have admitted his nerves to his cousin. In 2017, the couple celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary.